Welcome back to a new episode of Suave. In this episode, this is the first episode of 30 by 30, a series in which I'm going to try to make 30 titles in 30 days. So without further further ado, this title that I did took me like 40 minutes from scratch, just from pretty much it. It's kind of simple. It doesn't have a lot of like extra like shades or anything, but you can add that later on. But let me just show you how you can make these. And I'm going to try to make it quick so it doesn't take too much of your life, you know. So first you open your fusion a new fusion composition and create a background. And on that background, let's create a circle shape mask. And let's change the color. Let's do a, let's do a different one for this. Let's make it that. I don't know what color there is. I have the blue light filter on my screen right now. Okay, so we have that first. And then we're gonna create a merge. So have as a background. The next thing we're gonna create is okay, let's go face. Because like if you as you could see, the the little map was really complicated. Cause it's just kind of like out of the blue, you know. So we're going to take the two texts. We're going to make a new merge. So we're going to have our main title. Title. And let's make it black. And then secondary title. And also make it black. And then we're going to link it to this. So we can see it there. So we're going to change that second test, sec, whoops, that doesn't really matter. And we're going to just put them in the right place. There we are. Okay, so that's pretty much the base of what we need. The next thing that we need to do is to create the border that will act like a, that, like it will be the foreground of everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new background. We're going to copy this background, keep it the same size. And then we're going to create, copy this mask and create a second one. So control C, control V. If you have a Mac, I'm not sure what that is. And we're going to, first of all, add an expression to this and then drag this. So then when you move this, it will move together because otherwise it will just go crazy. And we're going to do that. We can see that in this screen, what we did. And the next thing that we need to do is to add a subtract, subtract. And we're going to change the color of the background. Let's make it black. All right. So we have our border that's going to be up here as you could see there. So the next thing that we need to do is to create, to merge it with this one. So there's a new merger and there we got, we have that. Now the next thing that we need to do is to have our, let me see, I'm trying to not forget anything. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So we have this one. And then the next thing that we need to do. Oh, we have to create one of these two to make the little, the cap or whatever, the thing that comes over it, you know, a little lit. So that's what we're going to do here. And we're going to connect it to the merger also. So it's going to be over it and we're going to change the color of these to make it a little bit different. So now then later on we can animate these. And it will be like that, you see, but the problem is that right now it shows us it's over this one. We don't want that. We want it to be masked. So what we need to have on this one is a mask that is this, that is the border. So what we're going to do is go up here and we're gonna copy and paste and it's gonna show as a mask but we're gonna invert it 
So now, when we have this, it shows us it's opening up and closing. You see? It's not that hard. But figuring things out from zero, it kind of becomes a little bit complicated. And this one looks a little bit less messy than the one that I had on. So the next thing that we want to do is to have an e uh, we're going to have the same mask on the text. So we need the inside mask. So it's this one. And we're going to add it to the text. You don't have to do this, but this is just... I don't know if it's OCD or what, but it's just easier to do it. But I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to add it after I put the animation on. So let's animate it in a little different way, actually. So because you can animate it anywhere, you know. So we're going to put it in frame. Let's start 20 because then we can add the intro animation like popping up. So let's start in frame 20. We're going to add the center let me back down a little bit uh, okay doesn't matter we're gonna put in 29 we're gonna that's where it's gonna no that's fine that's fine that's fine. sorry i'm a little bit crazy and my thoughts go way faster than my words so there it goes and then it's gonna open whoop that's a little messy it's gonna open to the side gonna stay there for a little bit and then I'm 55 we're gonna add another keyframe and we're gonna close it on 64 another nine frames we we'll simply just put 0.5 here so now it's gonna show up as opening and closing you know it opens it closes then I'm gonna copy these and put it on the text so it's just going to do the same thing and it's, the mask is going to drag on with it. And then the next thing that we need to do, which is a detail, an extra detail that you don't have to add it, is I'm, gonna, I'm going to add a new text. Whoops. I'm going to add a new text. And I am going to put the same mask over this text also. With this text... It's going to have the letter of whatever letter you want it to have. The initial of your brand. So we're going to put these in color black. Oh, then the mask is inverted. That's why we cannot see it. Okay, so then the next thing is, so that, the thing is that if we copy this, this mask, it's going to animate everything, so you don't have to put all the keyframes again. Main title. And secondary title. So that's pretty much it. And one thing that I did do was, if you could see details very well you were going to notice that there was a little tracking that i did on the first on the text so what i'm going to do is going to animate these and i'm going to animate the tracking so it's going to start here so when the thing it's opening up the the text is going to be sort of like expanded and it's going to come into at the same time and we're going to put it back into one and then the, the other thing that I did is that it goes to expand again but slowly or as it until it closes again so let's see how that looks And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope that I didn't take too much of your time and that you can now make a similar title like this or use it as inspiration. Oh, one thing that I forgot to do was to add 
the uh, add a transform node so we can animate the beginning the in and out of the whole thing so the animation starts there so we're gonna make it here to be this size and this rotation we're gonna go back to five we're gonna drag drag the size to zero and there so when it comes out it's gonna come like that and then once it closes again closes at 65 we're gonna wait a few keyframes and then we're gonna put another keyframe and we're gonna go back the same way that we started we're gonna turn that and turn the side so it's gonna go back in like that well so that's it for this video so i hope that you enjoyed this video and sadly it kind of became a little too long but you get the idea so thanks for watching this video and i will see you tomorrow in the second episode of 30 by 30 by suave